that has protected them at ground zero in the epicenter from none of them being infected. And the reason why none of them are infected is because when you have a living Jesus on the inside of you, you have to understand that that's the same Jesus that rose the dead. That's the same Jesus who healed the sick. And he is not any less powerful in you than he was when he was in the earth. The only difference is many of us have a historical Jesus. We have a Jesus that our grandparents followed, our grandparents were faithful, but we haven't uh, necessarily carried that same faith. And we have a Jesus of the history books, and the Jesus on our neck or on our cross or on our watch or our statues or on our, our laptop. But we need to have a real living Jesus in our heart, and when we have a living Jesus in our heart, our spiritual immune system will be strong. So it's my prayer that you will have a strengthening your immune system today, that you will be protected, that by the time you leave this hospital, by the time the epidemic passes and you go home, that not one of you will be sick, not one of your family members will be sick, and those that are coming in here infected, that you'll begin to see miracles and healings, and we are in the time where God is about to empty out whole departments by healing the sick as he did 2,000 years ago. Because Jesus is coming back soon. And the Bible says that before he comes back, you will see pandemics, you will see pestilence, you will see wars, rumors of wars. And we are in that final hour now where God is about to come back. But we're blessed to be in the Philippines where most of the people believe in Jesus. So now we need to make sure that we not only believe in the Jesus of the history books, but a living Jesus that wants to live inside of your hearts. So I want to pray for every one of you today before we let you go. And I'm going to ask that you just bow your heads and that you close your eyes for a moment. And I'm going to ask if you can to just lift up one hand as, as you're taking an oath. And I want you to pray with me with using your lips, with your mouth. I want you to open up your mouth and repeat after me and say, say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, I come to you now, I come to you now. In, Jesus name. in Jesus' name. I believe, I believe that, your son that your Son died for my sins, died for my sins. And, on and on the third day, he was risen from the dead. He was from the dead. I ask you, Father, I ask you, Father to, send the Jesus, to send the living Jesus to live in my heart, to live in my, heart, to live in my spirit, to live in my, spirit, to live in my body, to give me life, to give me health, to strengthen me, and give me forgiveness of my sins. From this day forward, I belong to you. I will not fear. I will not believe the negative reports. But I will trust in the living God. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Give yourselves a little hand clap. Now, in Wuhan and Wenzhou and in Shanghai, I laid hands on every doctor and every Christian, and none of them are sick. No one in their church is sick. And even some of my, my, my members in the community they live, not one transmission in the whole community as they have prayed for their communities. I want to pray that same prayer with you, but they said that I cannot touch you. So mm -hmm. I would ask that you would just stretch your hands towards me, and I would stretch my hand towards you, and I will pray that same prayer and dismiss you, okay? Father, I pray for every doctor, every nurse, every staff, every cleaner, every security guard, yeah. every worker in this unit. And I pray that from the tips of their fingers, down through the palms of their hands, up their arms, and through their entire body, over every opening in the ears, in the nose, in the mouth, over every orifice, to be covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. I pray a guard upon them in Jesus' name that not only will no virus transmit into their bodies, but I decree, God, that they will transmit and emanate the spirit of life in Jesus' name. The constructive spirit of life to heal their patients, to heal everyone that they come in contact with. I thank you, Father God, that right now I declare COVID illegal on this unit. I bind the spirit behind COVID virus. I bind the virus itself. I command every cell that's been taken over in Jesus' name for that to stop producing the virus. I command that virus in Jesus' name to die. 
I command the immune system to be strengthened. And I pray, God, the breath of life would go into every patient in their nostrils, in their lungs. Mucus dissolved. Mucus come out of their lungs in Jesus' name. And I declare their air passageways open. And I pray for healing in this department, healing of every patient, and divine protection and healing for every nurse, doctor, and medical staff in this ward. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right, God bless you.